Read that for me out. Proverbs 16, 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. Hey, so the way that that man thought he was going, he think that that's right. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Which is usually the ways of death. You think you, you know what I'm saying, you think you're serving the most high, you think you're doing everything right. But you don't know uh, how the Heavenly Father judges. You don't know what he requires of you. You may think that you're doing what's right, but it could be a, a bum, it could be an abomination in the sight of the Lord what you do. Like, I could throw something out there right now, like, what that man said that he didn't even allow him to tell him that. You know, the Bible says no, that. Correct. But he gonna continue doing all these work because that's what he thinks. Talk to when it comes to this word. No, you know, that's the main somebody that don't read the Bible. I know. Somebody that don't read the Bible. Exactly. But at the same time, he's not. He, he's coming out with his emotion. When, when we do up here, when we teaching, we ain't coming out our own feelings. What we feel should be, or the way it should be, according to how we feel. We coming out of this book, man. It's what the heavenly Father says, not what we say. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we just meant. Or the narrator. Exactly. Or the exactly. You know? You know, all we all we can do is reiterate what the Heavenly Father says. Re Go ahead. It says, um, For I bear the record that they have a zeal of, of God, but not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. He didn't have the zeal according to knowledge. We were trying to break it down for him. The Lord is not, he's not trying to save everybody. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel. <laughs> He more than likely was on this side, man, but he's concerned with all these other people, man. <laughs> Worry about oh, your yeah. own he salvation. He better kick himself off the, off the, uh, just like being on the, on the, on the, out, out the party, right? Yeah. You'd rather get kicked out the party because the other people that you don't know, you let your family, can't, can't, can't get in. You don't even know them. They don't even like you. But, they don't but, care but about you. you. Kick yourself they ain't got off. no ticket. If they was in there, they wouldn't get you in. <laughs> that don't make no sense to me. And it's, it's always our, the reason why we say we think y'all people, it's always our people that be the perfect people. Yep. When the other nations hear that they ain't on this side, oh, okay, I do. They walk home and have a great day and go on and do whatever else they, they do. Yep. But it's us that want to get everybody else. Why would you want to devalue your position in, in, in the world when you got a, when you got a position, you got a, 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 a special position in life, why would you want to devalue that? Let everybody in. It wouldn't be no good if everybody was in on This is what life is like when everybody's in on it. It's terrible. You know what I'm so they being ignorant of God's righteousness. Hey, that, yeah, being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, yep. meaning you ignorant of the laws, statutes, commandments that the Lord gave us, how we supposed to observe and do his commandments, man. Uh -huh. You're ignorant of that, go ahead. And going about to establish their own righteousness. I'm gonna just do what I feel in my heart is right, according to God. Uh -huh. That's exactly what that nigga was doing. We can, we can read this and quote him, and it's saying the same thing. It's saying the same thing. <laughs> Y'all witness, y'all just witness that. It says, Read it again, bro. It said, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness uh -huh. and going about to establish their own righteousness yep. have not submitted themselves 
unto the righteousness of God. Yeah, they didn't submit themselves to, to the true understanding of this of this word, man. To the true righteousness of the Most High, man. You always got you you always got these fake ass Christians or people that read the Bible, and they always want to uh, they want to fit they they want to fit they uh, they want to fit the Bible to their life instead of fitting their life to the Bible. Right. That's you know? a big difference too. A lot of a lot of niggas, especially in the churches, like the, like the black women and, 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 and these niggas and these old uh, these older people, they like the they basically create their God. They, they create their God. My God says you can do this, you can that, do that. Exactly this is how you're supposed to be. That they you know, my hey, God, I believe in this. My God says as, that. As, 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 as manly as he appeared on the outside. Yeah. Like a woman. Still red, he still had the cups and patterns of the woman. Even still, this takes, this is for me. This is for a man can humble himself. If I still feel she was out there, I don't mean to step on the You know what I'm saying? As a man, I can, you know, I can be you know, uh, humble to you for the moment, you know? Now, now, but if you can't humble yourself to learn these things, from another man, so you can get on a higher level. Because God ain't dealing with you. He ain't dealing with you. Because part of dealing with this is so that we understand how to treat each other. And as men, and how men are supposed to treat women, children, and so on, and the other people. You know, in our selves as well. That's the purpose of all these types of brothers and men, because in the Bible, is to teach us how to deal with life as men, women, and children. Of God, forget the other nations, but as children of God, how to be representative, earthly representations, uh, rep representatives of God. Yes. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is what makes you better than them. Hold that. That's how you feel. Now you right there. Verse 76. Right there. And then go right back to the This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The word holy means separate. I don't want you to be like all the other people on the earth. I want you to be separate. Because you're, you're my child. I chose you to be my child. My special people. That's what it's saying right now. I've chosen you to be special to me. So I want you to be like me. Everybody else, don't worry about that. I want you to be like me. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. That means, that means we can all be the knowledge and wisdom of the creator of the earth, of the people, of the relationship, and the treatment of, of each other and ourselves, and the food, and the nourishment, and all of that, and the wisdom and knowledge from the Creator that created it all. Not from what this man thinks, or what I want to believe, or how I feel, but from the Creator that created it all. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And somebody earlier said, that's racist. I mean, the other dude. Yeah, the other dude. Yeah. But isn't that racist? Didn't he choose a race above all the other races right there? Above all the people upon the face of the earth? I want I chose you to be that? Yeah. That was it on that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it back in Deut chapter Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord thy my God commanded me that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Surely this people is, is above us. They are a better people than us because look at how they live. Look at what they follow. Look what they believe in. Yep. <laughs> it says, For what nation is there so great who have the most high so nigh unto them? What nation is there so great that has the Creator so near unto them? As the Lord our God is in all things as, that we call upon as Him. As our God is with us, that will give us all the righteous things that we call and ask Him. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Who else has that? Only God's own people have it. And 
And what's funny, in the lowest state that we're in now, we're still the fastest people on the planet. We still jump the fastest, the smartest. We, we fight the best. We, we, we the best lovers. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we the best cooks. We the best people on the planet, even in the lowest state that we're in now. In the slavery position now, we're still the best people on the earth. Who, who else can do that? And we're not following the law. So imagine if we follow the law. Yeah, all that shit over there is bullshit. All that over there is bullshit. That's just a distraction from Satan, man. Proverbs 21. Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. For no wisdom and destruction. So this is what the Bible gives in a nutshell. To receive the word. Proverbs 22. To know wisdom and instruction, to receive the words of understanding. So you're able to understand, to, to know wisdom and instruction, to know how to, how to, to, to do something, to be instructed on how, how to live life, how to do things. That's what the Bible will give To know wisdom, to know, okay, I see a situation coming up. Now, if you see a train coming, you're not going to stand for a train. Wisdom will say, let's move out the way of this train. That's good. So you can see what to do with things coming to heart in the world. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equal duty. So, so you, you have value. You have wisdom, judgment, justice, and equity, right? Yeah. So wisdom, justice, and judgment, and, and equity. So you know what justice is. For somebody, if I go and I just talk in your heart, guess what the, the justice that would be? For no reason, what would the justice that would be? To let you stop me in my life. You know what I'm saying? That's justice. And that's, and that's, and that's, and that's judgment. The righteous person that would say that, that would be judgment. You don't, you don't have to take his whole arm off. Because he only sucks you out. You suck him in his arm. And that's evil. That's, 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 that's just...